This is my 3D Hobby Shop Extra 330SC. Hobby Shops make some of the most beautiful and amazing flying RC airplanes. This is a laser cut balsa and light ply almost ready to fly. I have it set up on a brushless hacker brushless motor with Castle Creations um, ESC high-tech servos. When I got the plane, I set it up for um, 4S. This is 3,300 milliamp hour, um, 25C discharge lipos. Then I was doing some research on the uh, my hacker motor, and I discovered in the paperwork that would handle um, 5S lipo. So now this is over the top unlimited vertical, it will accelerate from a um, torque roll hover straight up. So, incredible, uh, amazing flying airplane, but there's a problem with it that causes me to not fly it very often. The reason I don't fly this very often is it's such a hassle to change the batteries. These lipos have to go all the way up towards the front inside that cowling. And I have this Velcro strip here with these two tabs on the batteries. So when it's strapped down, it doesn't shift as much. And to tighten the strap, I use the screwdriver and I have to get it in that loop I formed and secured with this nut and screw after the lipo is in. So I'm reaching up in here like this. I get the screwdriver in the loop. Then I have to, with the battery in there, open the Velcro and then pull it up and over the battery and secure it. So you can see just from my demonstration what a hassle that is. So that's a shame to not fly a model like this because the battery's a hassle to change out. This thing has it all. Carbon fiber nose cone and landing gear. It's got fiberglass wheel pants and cowling. Factory painted, matching the color scheme, oversized control surfaces, it's a full-on 3D model, has the arming device you have to remove before flying, works like a throttle cut, got the pilot in there, painted them up, made sunglasses for them, I have a four-leaf clover of some fashion in every airplane that I own. Again, large oversized control surfaces. The um, both tail surfaces have the uh, airfoil, which makes them more responsive. Elevator and rudder. Slick little tail wheel down here. This wire underneath here. It uh connects with the rudder so it steers at the same time it's flexible enough where it doesn't transfer all the uh, bumps and vibration back to the tail servo so I have a solution for this and that's the purpose of this video I'm gonna build a battery tray for this
change it over from strap-in lipo to a battery tray. Got the battery tray started. Laid this up last night. This is 30 second birch plywood with a layer of carbon fiber on both sides. How I do this is have this roll of contact paper. That's what you see on the counter here. And so to release on the carbon fiber, I put the blue tape on, outline the piece I need. Then I cut down the middle of the blue tape so the carbon fiber doesn't unravel. I'm using the uh, Moss epoxy system. It's good for carbon fiber or fiberglass. So this is ready to come up. Let's see what I have here. Okay, got all the tape off. Let's see if I get under here with my knife. Get this to release from the contact paper. And that's pretty tight. There we go. Got something now. That'll be the back side. I did both together, save time. Top side of my battery tray. The carbon fiber overlaps the birch plywood, so I should be able to cut it right here. Reveal the birch plywood. So I'll do that to every side and then sand the edge. I cut the excess carbon fiber off with a number 11 X-Acto blade, sanded the edges, and I coated them with epoxy, seal it up. Very rigid battery tray. Here's a look with the cowling off where the lipo goes in this plane. This is the old strap system that I was using. It's up in there. Off camera, I have the battery tray complete. I've added the Velcro strips to the tray and wove the strap through. It's got two smaller pieces of Velcro on the battery. That way it's easier to remove the battery, but with that much Velcro and it's strapped on, it won't shift around. And then I have these to where I can adjust my CG forward or backward and they'll, the Velcro will match up. So I'm just gonna put it in the middle for now. Start off, I'll check it after I get it in the airplane. So that is so much handier to change out a battery on a tray outside of the um, airplane. So I got two tabs here that'll lock in the front and we got a hole right here for a thumb screw. Let's see how this goes in the airplane. Boy, that is a nice feature. Now the thumb screw. Whenever I thread into wood, I drill an undersized hole, run the screw in first to form the threads. And then I use um, CA, squirt it in a hole. And then before I put the screw back in, put a little Vaseline on the screw, run it in there and that will cause the CA to set when it um, locks off the air. The Vaseline will allow you to get screw back out and you have case hardened threads that will hold up. 
We can look at the setup now. Got the thumb screw on the end. Fasten the rear of the tray down. Battery's in there with a the strap. Here's a look from underneath. What I did, I have these wooden tabs, which left to right, it uh, engages with that part of the frame there. Lines it up, the tabs, another layer of wood underneath the tab that you can see, spaces it out, and these engage underneath the frame. So it centers it up and locks it in in the front here. This is going to be so nice. Now to change out a lipo, remove the thumb screw. Slide the battery tray backwards, disengage it from the tabs in the front, and then bring it right back and out, and just change the lipo by strapping another one on the tray. Perfect. Kind of knew where that battery was before, but I nailed it. The plane's back together, it balances. And here's a look what the battery tray setup looks like with everything together, cowling on, clean setup. Well, that should make this airplane a whole lot more convenient to fly, and you'll see some videos on this airplane coming up but that's how you do it change your airplane with the lipo that's way forward in your cowling from a battery strap to a removable tray much handier and more enjoyable system